This year I drew a big bull elk tag. Uh, I've been putting in for one for about 10 years, so this is kind of a big deal. I enjoy eating wild game, but for me, hunting's mostly about a chance to see new country. Having this big bull tag gives me an excuse to go scouting. So I've got a chance to go do some hiking a few weeks earlier than I normally would. The area I'm scouting today has a creek you have to get across. You'd be surprised how a little creek keeps a bunch of people out of an area. That's why this is one of my favorite areas to go hiking through. That looks like a good spot. I'll probably slip off those rocks, but not that deep. Yep, they're slick. A mama moose with her calf is an especially dangerous animal and pretty unpredictable. But they didn't even know I was here, so I just sat back and enjoyed the show. That's one of the reasons I love hiking. You never know what the day is going to bring. I enjoy tracking. I'm not very good at it, but it's amazing the stories that the ground can tell you if you know how to read it right. The, the goal today was to get as high as quickly as I could and hopefully spot some elk before they bedded down. Today, I didn't see any elk. Did see a few deer, however. That's almost as enjoyable. Since I was just out scouting, watching deer was just as much fun as watching elk. Not sure what spooked this one, but he headed to the trees in a hurry. Snowberries aren't edible to humans, but grouse sure seem to like them. Not long after I spotted those snowberries, I found my first grouse. Happened so fast I didn't get a chance to record it. Nice little grouse. You make a good meal. Cool. Little young guy. This set of twins was out enjoying the morning. And I enjoyed spending a few minutes sitting back and watching them. It's hard to beat a spectacular ridgeline view. As I was enjoying the view, I saw a grouse flush just down the hill. It's fun to watch things in slow motion. Things happen so quickly, you don't even have a chance to think about it before they're over. Feathers right here, so that had to have been about where I hit it. Finding grouse in thick cover isn't always easy, but I had a pretty good idea where this one so. ended up.
a little bit of a glide factor. She got feathers. There we are. Nice little pine hen. A little bigger than the last one. But yeah. Cool. Now that I was on the ridge, I was just going to walk it for a while and see if I could hear anything bugling down in any of the canyons. Everything was super quiet today. I can't pass up choke cherries without stopping to pick a few. Pulled out the spotting scope for a while before I headed down off the ridge. Didn't see any deer or elk this time. This is one of my favorite little valleys, kind of tucked away in the middle of nowhere. I like to come hike it once a year, even if I don't have a tag. good hike's enjoyable on its own, but this one was even better, because at the end of it, I gotta have some fresh grouse for dinner. Hard to beat that. With all the grouse gone by the end of the night, I'm definitely gonna have to get out again next weekend and go see if I can find some more. <laughs>